running with God's vision. Come on, touch somebody and say running with God's vision. Come on, touch harder a bit. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't worry, Pastor Luis, I won't be hitting you hard. Amen. Hallelujah. What do you do? Listen, church, look at me. What do you do when things are not working out the way that you want them to? What do you do? What do you do when you know you, God has spoken things over your life and you know, it seems as though it's not taking place? What do you do when you journey in life and you see so much of injustice that's happening around and you just can't do anything about it? What do you do? Listen, what do you do? You know, when, you know instead of things getting better, things get worse. What do you do? What do you do? Maybe right, you've got expectations you know, the, on people and people don't fulfill your expectations. What do you do? What do you do? Amen. When you see, right, you know, there's, you know, there's, there's so much of struggle in your life. In every step that you take, it seems as though, right, you're stepping into deeper struggle. What do you do when you fail an exam once? You fail your exam twice. You fail your exam third time. Amen. And then that's for the later part. And then you pass the exam. And what do you do? What do you do, friends? Listen, when you've got a prophetic word, when you know, right, God is a God of just. A God of is a God of justice, and you don't see justice. What do you do? It seems as though, Amen. The people who are not supposed to be prospering are prospering, and you, right, are trying to walk in righteousness, and yet, right, things are not working out. What do you do? Maybe, right, you're in a relationship that you feel unloved. Amen. What do you do? What do you do, friends? Listen. Maybe, right, you know, you're battling, right, the loss of a loved one. What do you do? What do you do, friends, even this morning? You know, when you know God, you know, even as, God, as you look at the promises of God, and yet, right, you know, in the process, you know, you miss out and you don't possess the promise. What do you do? What do you do? Amen. Even, even, in, even in your community and this nation, there's so much of things that are happening. And yet, right, we sit here and, you know, we appear as though powerless, but we can pray, but we seem to be powerless. What do you do? What do you do? Friends, this morning, you know, this was a question that Habakkuk asked. Amen. And this morning, I want to really challenge you from the book of Habakkuk. It's only uh, three, uh, four chapters. Amen. What do you do? What did, you know, what was happening in the nation of Israel, in the nation of Judah? Amen. And even, you know, as you look at the book of Habakkuk, amen, the four chapters in the book of Habakkuk, what we see in the book of Habakkuk, amen, is that God coming through. Sorry, the three chapters in the book of Habakkuk, you see, right, God coming through. And this morning, I want to say this. You know, are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Hello? You know, are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Amen. Are you disillusioned of being disillusioned? Are you discouraged of being discouraged? Amen. Listen, this morning, this is how Habakkuk the prophet felt. Amen. And and even in this book, you know, in this book of Habakkuk, you see some powerful keys that will help you. You know, I want to speak into your spirit. Everybody listen to me. Amen. I want to speak into your spirit. Amen. And I want to, you know, even this morning, put a seed into your heart. Amen. Listen, I don't care what, you know, circumstances have spoken of your life. You know, I don't care what people have said about you. I don't care what people have said about your purposes. Listen, each one of us has a divine destiny. Each one of us, come on, you know, say this, I have a divine destiny. Come on, say it, I have a divine destiny. Amen. Listen, we all have a God-given destiny. It doesn't matter, friends, maybe the people around you have spoken negative things around you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter even this morning, circumstances, you've been battered. You know, some of us have been through some lightweight problems. But some of us have been through some heavyweight problems. Amen. You know, some of us have really been through some tough times. It's as though, friends, you know, sometimes it's as though you're breaking through. And then you meet your next struggle. It's as though, right, you're on the door of victory. And then, right, you meet your next, you know, problem. But this morning, church, listen. Listen to me, people of God, this morning. Because in you, amen, God has put, right, a divine plan within you. A bit more bass and lower the volume. God has put, right, a divine plan in each one of your lives. And even this morning, I want to stir that God-given dream. I want to stir that God-given destiny. Because no one can take that from you. That seed of that vision, 
Amen. That seed of the vision, the God-given vision within you. It is that seed, even this morning, as you sow into that vision. Even right now, don't sow into your vision. Don't sow into your own, in our own carnal desires. Amen. Listen, our life, right? We have a destiny for eternity. We need to sow into the eternal things of God. And when you and I begin to sow into God's vision, when you and I begin to sow into God's destiny, what happens? You will reap. You will reap what you? The principle of sowing and reaping. You will reap more than you sow. The more you sow into God's vision, the more you sow into God's plans and purposes, the more that you sow into the God-given destiny within you. Amen. Listen, what happens? The more you will reap. Yes, it is a process. Listen, to possess this promise, it is a process. And that's where, you know, so many times we begin to fail. We fail, why? Because, you know, God journeys us to this process. And yet, right, you know, we miss out. Why? Because in the process we fall. In the process we get discouraged. But the promise is still there. Amen. I look eyeball to eyeball to you. And I say there's a God-given destiny. Each one of you. There's a God-given destiny. And listen, the good news is, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly. What God has spoken, God will bring it to pass. But we need to align ourselves with Him. Running with God's vision. You know, the book of Habakkuk starts with verse 1. And in verse 1, the Bible says, Amen. You know, the Bible says, chapter 1, verse 1. It says in verse 1, you know, he had a burden. You know, Habakkuk, Habakkuk means embrace. Amen. Come on, someone shall embrace. What was Habakkuk embracing? Habakkuk, right, was embracing God. And Habakkuk was embracing God's vision over his life. Yes, maybe right in the first chapter, he was, you know, journeying a bit into confusion. You know, he was journeying, right, even, you know, into things that he couldn't understand. He was struggling with the issues of the nation. But in this beautiful book of Habakkuk, amen, you see, right, you know, how each one of us this morning can run with the vision of God. Amen. Listen, God is no respecter of persons, you know, I don't care, right, you know, what people have said. I don't care how you feel this morning. I don't care, friends, listen, even this morning, what you've done in the past. But this morning, if you would just hearken to the voice of the Lord, even this morning, if you would just hearken to what God is saying, amen, your future will never be like your past. Amen. But there are things in the present that we need to do to possess the promise. Can I hear an amen? Amen. And so, right, Habakkuk was, you know, there was a tremendous burden Amen. You know, how did he, you know, see this? Why? Because, you know, even in verse 2, Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 2, he just couldn't understand what was happening in the nation of Judah. You know, he began to cry out. Come on, listen. First key, relationship with God. Come on, someone shout out relationship. Say it, relationship, 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 relationship. Come on, everybody. I can't hear you guys, la. Come on, relationship. Come on, look at the person next to you and say, relationship. You see, if you want to see God's vision fulfilled, it comes as a result of a relationship with the Lord. The book of Habakkuk, listen, everybody look at me. The book of Habakkuk is a relationship. Hallelujah. Amen. The book of Habakkuk, even his name, embrace, means relationship. It is a relationship of how a man handled the circumstances of his generation. It is a relationship how a man you know, handled confusion in his life. It is a relationship how a man you know, just couldn't understand what was happening. But he was willing to run with God's vision. Can I hear an amen? He was willing, friends, this morning, he was willing to take hold of the purposes of God. He was willing, amidst his own personal confusion, he was willing to take hold of the purposes of God. And he was willing to run with the purposes of God. And listen, this whole environment, this whole environment in which, right, the vision was birthed, this whole environment in which things took place, was a result of a relationship with God. And each one of us this morning must understand, it's God. Can I hear an amen? Come on, look at the person next to you and say, it's God. It's God. It's God.